Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to install PFSense on Hyper-V. And I've done a video before as well. In that video, I have used legacy network adapters in Hyper-V. But today we're going to use synthetic network adapters because in the latest re release and latest build of PFSense, they have got better support for synthetic um, normal network adapters or Hyper-V. And uh, uh, before we start, I would like to share something about myself. Um, I work as an ICT specialist technician. I support Windows 10 and end user devices and um, I do application support as well. Apart from that, I work on SCCM, uh, SQL and IIS server as well. On um, And also I like a Windows server and uh, PFSense was actually introduced to me by my IT manager when I was studying and um, I used PFSense for one of my uni projects uh, of network security subject and uh, since that time I've been using PFSense I've run PFSense on uh, um, Hyper-V and uh, actually uh, natively on a box as well um, on i3 processor and also I've done few projects on um, PFSense as well and um, today we're going to learn how to install PFSense on Hyper-V. Before we get started, let's talk about a little bit about history of PFSense. As all of us, we know that it is uh, based on FreeBSD and uh, the co-founders, they started this project in 2004. And uh, initially, they wanted to do it on OpenBSD, but they have chosen FreeBSD because of better network support and wireless support. Okay, and uh, also PFSense, it requires two network adapters. So one is going to be a VAN and the uh, other one is going to be a LAN. So in Hyper-V we have that functionality from Virtual Switch Manager we can um, create uh, a virtual adapters so they can be internal, external or private. So let's get started and um, we'll see how to configure PFSense on Hyper-V. Okay, so before we start, head down to pfsense.org forward slash download if you haven't downloaded PFSense ISO file yet. So in here, um, select uh, file type is install and architecture 64-bit uh, or 32-bit up to you which machine you're running on uh, iso file and uh, mirror select any and hit download so you're going to download it you have to extract iso file i uh, will download the file extract iso file you can use winr or um, inbuilt uh, extract function of windows so um, get your iso file ready and also open hyper-v in Hyper-V Manager, well, I'll show you guys what we're going to do today. Okay, this is a photo. This is my laptop which is running Hyper-V. And I've got physical Wi-Fi network adapter and a LAN network adapter. But I'm going to use only physical Wi-Fi network adapter. Uh, it will act as a WAN external network adapter on Hyper-V. And there's another one is LAN internal network adapter. Because PFSense requires two network adapters. So external is going to be DHCP. You can make a static as well. But it's better if it's um, DHCP. Because you're going to get IP from your ISP. Or if it's a test environment, um, you're going to get IP address from your home router and uh, you can make static as well um, LAN, LAN network adapter I'm gonna give it 192.168.30.0 forward slash 20 uh, 24 sorry so this is my um, actually plan what we're gonna do okay in Hyper-V manager there's a virtual switch manager on the right hand side click on virtual switch manager we're gonna create first uh, um, van choose external Create and I'm gonna use my wireless network adapter. Um, let's name it WAN. And also, I'll show you my. Um, so these are the network adapters I have at the moment. Let's make the view details. Okay, you will see. This is these are the network adapters I have at the moment. So I'm using this my Wi-Fi. So you will see the difference what's going to happen here okay I'll minimize this uh, it's van and um, external that's fine you hit uh, apply there you go so there's a network bridge and there's a virtual uh, Ethernet if you double click on Wi-Fi and details you won't see anything but if you click on our new virtual network adapter double click details you see the um, IP address this so this is my IP address from my uh, internal home network let's close this and um, minimize this and so van is done so now we're gonna create a new virtual switch it's gonna be internal create and I'm gonna name it LAN so internal hit apply 
So now we have LAN and WAN. Okay, so LAN, the WAN is getting DHCP, but LAN it's not getting DHCP. Just double click the LAN details. See the IP, it does not have any IP address. Go to properties and uh, IPv4 properties again. Use the following IP. We're going to use static range 192.168.30.1 and subnet mask. I'm going to keep it default. Hit OK, close, close, open CMD. Um, just ping 192.168.30.1 Okay, it should ping So it is pinging now Okay, so if it's not pinging you have to troubleshoot that then you need more information uh, If you would like to learn more about virtual network adapters, maybe search on TechNet Okay, I'll put the uh, link in the description um, so that you can go to the TechNet if you want to learn more about virtual network adapters or Hyper-V Let's close that so we are ready now. Okay, so now we're going to create new virtual machine. New virtual machine. Go next, name it. I'm going to name it pfSense03 because I have already pfSense and pfSense01 and 02 running. So I don't want on my network like different pfSense. So I'm going to make it three and um, I'm going to keep it the, the same location. You can change the location though. And generation, gen, I'm going to keep one. Assign memory, 1024 is more than enough. Networking, at the moment, just pick WAN. We connect LAN later. And here, so name it, that's fine. Mm, 20 GB. So it's a VHDX file it's going to save. So this is the path. Of course, you can change it, but I'm going to keep it as it is. All right. And um, so here, install operating system, image file, browse where, wherever the image file is saved. I have saved image file here. So I'm going to go pfSense, double click, select it, open, next, finish. So it's done. Let me fit it here. All right. So this is on right click, go to settings because we're going to add one more network adapter, add hardware, network adapter, add. So we have already connected WAN. We're going to connect LAN now. Apply. Okay. So we all set to go. So now we're going to do the installation. So what we have to do is we'll run this pfSense or three and uh, I'll Takes you through the steps. All right, so double click. And um, start. So it's going to start installing. So we're going to use multi-user. It's one. And uh, I'm going to keep everything default and accept these uh, settings. Quick and easy install, it's perfect, no worries, do it for us, please. And um, it says easy install, automatically install without asking any question, that's fine. So I'm going to fast forward that, it's going to take a while. So when it comes to the next screen, I will start video from there. All right, here, um, pick standard kernel, hit enter. So again, I'm going to fast forward the video, so I'll be back onto the next screen. All right, it's going to prompt us for a reboot. It is very tricky part. If you're going to reboot because we have um, the ISO file attached, it's going to boot from the ISO file. So we do not want it to boot from the ISO file. We would like to boot it from the installation uh, VHDX from where uh, we have installed uh, PFSense. So if you hit reboot, and then you go turn off, you have turned off the machine, that's fine. Uh, go to media, media, DVD drive, eject pfSense. Okay, so you have ejected the ISO file and then start it. Let it auto boot, do not do anything. All right, while it's doing that, let's go to our pfSense. 
right click settings and um, in network adapters click on the plus button here network adapter van plus button and advanced features here you can see uh, mac address of van network adapter which is 02 it's ending with 02 and if you look at lan it is 03 so now we know that which is van which is lan okay so minimize that and go back to pf sense so 02 is our van yeah so vlans we don't want to configure vlans now say no and enter and then now enter the van interface so our van is hn0 which is 02 in your case can be zero can be up and like here this can be lan or this can be van but you have to identify this is zero two it should match with our um in in the settings it should match in the settings okay so in in our case hn zero is van okay and hn one is our lan okay and enter optional we do not have any other adapter it's van is hn0 lan is hn1 yes to proceed please yes okay now we can see here the van ip address is 1.10 and lan does not have any any ip okay so we can configure so in options go to enter to for lan enter and then type in 192.168.30.2 okay it is in the same subnet range because our lan is 30.0 forward slash 24 okay enter 24 is subnet mask which is 255.255.255.0 okay enter say it's upstream gateway don't worry about it enter um, IPv6 now we don't worry about it at the moment you're gonna configure the HCP server not now maybe later enter do you want to revert to HTTP as a HTTP as the web configurator yes enter and that's about it so pfSense is ready so now we're gonna test it if it's working or not is it pinging Google or is it pinging local IPs or not okay so enter for continue all right, so now what we're gonna do is now we're gonna test our network connectivity. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna ping our internal network. So let's ping um, enter seven and then IP address 192.168.1.1. This is my home router 192.168.1.1, enter. So it is pinging home router. It means it's gonna, it's communicating with the home router. And uh, now I'm gonna uh, ping 7 enter 192.168.30.1 30.1 is ip address of virtual network adapter um so let's hit so it is pinging that network adapter as well which is good so our next step is we try to ping google all right so ping 8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. so it is pinging so it's communicating with external uh, internet as well Let's browse to 192.168.30.2. So we're going to browse to 192.168.30.2. And before we browsing, so the other thing we test is we'll ping from our Windows computer. 192.168.30.2. Wait. Oh, I didn't type ping. There you go. So it is pinging our PFSense, which is good. So we go to 192.168.30.2. So admin and PFSense is password. Save, don't save, don't save. PSM setup, yes, please. Next. And hostname, PFSense03. Domain, up to you if you want to name it and for now because it's pinging google it's pinging our internal network we don't require primary dns server or secondary dns server at the moment because our network is uh, the van is getting from dhcp 
okay so go next time server because I am in Australia I'm gonna pick uh, Melbourne time server I'm gonna leave it as it is so van interface we have already configured it says that it is DHCP and rest we don't worry about so we're gonna block 192 networks for pinging that's fine for us at the moment and this is our LAN IP cool so it's gonna ask to change the password for now I'm gonna keep pfSense don't worry and reload that's it cool okay so this is our web configurator thanks a lot for watching and I will see you guys in next video uh, please like share and support and if you have any questions feel free to ask see you next time